Hey everybody, it's Carrie Barfoot, independent Epicure consultant, and today I'm going to share one of my kids' favorite recipes, which is the Epicure waffles. We love making these. We make them up ahead and then we pop them in the freezer and it's a quick breakfast before they go off to school. We just pop them in the toaster or sometimes I will put them on their lunch. I'll cut them up like finger style and I'll either send a little bit of maple syrup, ooh, so Canadian, or I'll send a little bit of Epicure fruit mix made up with Greek yogurt. They love it. So we're featuring Epicure silicone, Waffle mold. This is high grade food silicone. It goes in the oven up to 420 degrees and it makes six, six waffles at once. Quick, easy, and the cleanup is a breeze. So much easier than those waffle irons. So, what you're going to do is first of all, you're going to get a recipe. So, you're going to go to my website, carriebarfoot.epicure.com. In the search engine, you're going to type in waffle. And there's going to be all kinds of recipes that come up. So whether you want chocolate chip, gluten-free, whole wheat, maybe you want to add a little protein in there with our protein power-up waffles. Maybe you want to add your greens. There's a super greens uh, waffle recipe. But today we're going to stick to the Epicure Classic waffles, all right? So in a bowl, you're going to add your flour, your sugar, your salt, your baking soda, and your baking powder. I always look up the recipe on my iPhone and I just have it sitting right here. Super easy. So Epicure Classic Waffles. Flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt. Simple. Give that a good little stir. And then in a separate bowl, you're going to do your wet ingredients. So you're going to add your eggs, two eggs. You're going to add your oil, quarter cup. You could use vegetable oil, you could use coconut oil, totally up to you. And then you're going to do one and a half cups of milk. Super simple. Use a whisk to whisk that up. Woo, I'm making a mess here. All right, so I'm using Epicure Sil or, sorry, Piano Wire Whisk. This thing is fantastic. It's a lifer. It's one of those ones you invest in, you're going to have it for the rest of your life. Absolutely amazing. Piano Wire Whisk. So take your wet, slowly add it to your dry. Give that a mix just until it's mixed up. All right, I got that all mixed up and I almost forgot the vanilla. So it is a quarter cup of vanilla in here as well. I just want to talk about this spoon. This thing is awesome. So instead of digging in your cupboard for all the different measuring spoons, all you need is this one right here. Epicure's four-in-one measuring spoon. It does a tablespoon, a teaspoon, flip it over, it does a half a teaspoon, and then you're gonna see a line right across here, which is a quarter teaspoon. Teaspoon, half a teaspoon, um, one teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon, all in one. Like, how easy is that? So your vanilla, make sure you add that delicious vanilla flavor, and you're gonna do a half a teaspoon of vanilla in there, and give it a mix. All right, so I've got that all mixed up. I've got my oven preheated at 425 degrees. That is one of the tricks to getting these waffles to be perfection, is you want your oven nice and hot, so 425 degrees. The next trick is you wanna make sure that you oil your silicone waffle pan. Don't use sprays, like Pam, it'll leave a film on your silicone, so never use sprays. You just wanna take a basting brush, so we do have a fantastic silicone basting brush. No more losing the bristles. This thing is awesome, another great investment in your kitchen. Take a little bit of oil, and you're just gonna do a paint job, and you're just going to baste your silicone waffle pan. When you've got kids helping, this is an awesome, awesome job for the kids. Give them the basting brush and let them paint the waffle mold. They love helping out. All right, now this recipe does 12, so you can either do it twice with your silicone waffle mold, or we've invested in two, we make these so much, and I've got two of the waffle molds here. Lay it on a baking sheet. Um, I learned the hard way with that. If you don't put it on a baking sheet, you got all this mixture you're trying to get in the oven, it's really wobbly. So make sure it's on a baking sheet. Take a quarter cup, this is another trick. Sometimes people overfill the waffle mold and then they're really poofy. So no more than a quarter cup mixture in each, each mold. The less you put in, the better chances for the little holes to show up. It's a little bit more crispier. So one quarter cup 
in each one of these molds. All right, I've got them all filled up here. Now you're gonna pop it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, waffles are done. So take them out of the oven, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, flip them off onto a cutting mat or onto your counter. So just grab them now. The silicone is hot, so make sure you've got oven mitts on, and just pop them out onto the mat. Give them a press. If it's cool to the touch, you can use your hand. There we go. See that? Six beautiful waffles. Ta-da! So now you can freeze these and put them on the kids' lunch or pop them in the toaster for a really quick breakfast. Top them with like a Epicure fruit mix with Greek yogurt. Absolutely delicious. Berries, nuts, seeds. My gosh, the, you know, the options are endless. So I hope you enjoy and uh, you give Epicure's waffle mold a whirl and look at this cleanup. So there we go. All there is is there's a few little bits on there and that'll just come right off. Just like that, it's non-stick. So no cleaning that waffle um, press that uh, is such a pain to clean. This is super, super slick. Awesome, enjoy everybody.